Live shipping rates use save products and box information from EasyShip to produce a variety of shipping services for potential customers at checkout. In this video, we break down most common reasons why rates at checkout may not work as designed and describe the best practices to resolve such issues. In this example, we'll be using Shopify, but troubleshooting steps mostly apply to other platforms too. We'll start with a common issue, which is rates not showing up. This could be frustrating, but it's typically easy to resolve. First, check in your store settings if shipping at checkout is activated. Now, it may sound obvious, but if you happen to reconnect to your store, this can actually be easy to miss. We then recommend checking your shipping zones. On Shopify, these are found in the shipping settings. To ensure rates are set up correctly, select All Services and click Automatically Show New Services when they become available. If there are any couriers that you don't want to use, you can block them using shipping rules on the EasyShip dashboard. Next, we recommend taking a look at your shipping zones. Ideally, you should only have to keep track of two zones, domestic and international. If additional zones need to be added, make sure rates are set up properly as touched on earlier. Note that shipping rules on your dashboard will translate to shipping options at checkout. If your rules are too restrictive, it may block certain rates from showing up. Review your rules to see if they are perhaps the reason why no rates are being displayed. In this example, two rules were blocking rates. Firstly, there was an only excellent tracking rule, coupled by a delivery time of less than one working day. This, as I'm sure you can imagine, will block a considerable amount of options. Okay, so by now, hopefully we're getting somewhere. But if this has failed, try to reconnect. Starting from scratch will almost always do the trick. Simply disconnect EasyShip, delete the zones, delete the rates, and create the setup again. This shouldn't take longer than a couple minutes. Another common issue is incorrect shipping prices showing at checkout. A multitude of factors can contribute to this inaccuracy. The following factors may contribute to inaccurate rates. Missing product information or an improper product download. Missing box information. And an improper product category. Starting with missing product and box information. Ensure your downloaded products have accurate dimensions and weight saved. Rates at checkout rely on data to work correctly and product information is the foundation from which that data is pulled. Make sure you're using saved boxes with auto select turned on. The algorithm will take product information and based on the size, assign a saved box. That box information will then be used to calculate rates and those rates will be sent back to your store's checkout. If you happen to assign a box once the order is already synced, you may see an increase in shipping cost. Lastly, if you change the category of a product after an order has been synced, some couriers may not be available, meaning you may have to pay a higher price than what was initially covered by the customer. This goes back to the importance of saving accurate product information. That just about wraps up our video on troubleshooting rates at checkout. I hope this has been helpful, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact the support team.